Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Emilia binti Zahri. I'm going to present to you a persuasive speech on why online dating is not a suitable way to find soulmates. Dear madam and my fellow listeners, in these modern years, modern days, online dating is very widespread. Most people have been using online dating apps to meet new people and establish special relationships. It is proven based on a research by Pew Research Center, which states that the following years had shown an escalate pattern of people who use the online dating platforms to 59% compared to the recent years. So, I am sure many of my friends, people around you, you and including me, had experience using these online dating platforms to find someone new. At that point, have you ever experienced meeting someone online and suddenly you feel kind of attached with them just because they had carried the conversation very well with a little bit of humor that make you wonder if you maybe could further your relationship seriously in real life too which meaning to meet them in real life but then when time goes on you started to wait for their replies hoping that they will forever return to you until somehow they leave you hanging without words, which also we'll call as getting ghosted. Nonetheless, you keep on reminiscing him or her that's how you started creating your own heartbreaks just because you don't get the same attention that you needed. And so you ended up moved on, but somehow another new person came and the cycle moves on again and again. It's quite tiring though. So, to clarify this, it's quite simple to fall in love with someone over the internet via online dating or other apps. But getting to know this mysterious person is the most difficult part. We may believe that we might love each other, but what if all this time you are just wasting your time? Dear, to find a soulmate that is not guaranteed to be forever yours. I am too, never thought that online would be a hassle, but after I had experienced myself and getting used, makes me realize that this online dating thingy is not suitable to find soulmates, as it rather be an app just to fill your boredom more by texting strangers. So, for today, I hope to persuade you to stop attempting ways to find soulmates through online dating website or apps, because Online dating is definitely not a suitable way to find soulmates and you are just wasting your time here. Besides that, I also wish to present to you the ugly truth of online dating and why you should avoid it. Plus, to give awareness to people that love cannot be trusted easily through online. I also gathered all the information and presentation aids through articles, blogs, research online, all together. So moving on, it's fair to say that online dating allows you to find your soulmate in a short amount of time and even allows you to match with people who share your interests, dislikes and likes and personality traits that meet your ideal set of standards. But however, that statement is a main issue because for the first of People lie on their online dating profiles. People, of course, want to be desirable. So, this isn't exactly a game-changing effect for me. Most people are probably not surprised to discover that lying an online profile is more common than being fully honest. Ironically, we are also aware of how frequent it is to lie on a dating site. According to a Pew Research Center report on the downsides of online dating among U.S. adults, around 71% of online dating users believe that individuals lie about themselves to appear more desirable on dating sites and apps, which may be seen as highly prevalent. For example, the most prevalent dating lies are they might lie about their age in order to date someone younger. 
They also lie about their body figure by adding a few inch to their height for men or subverting few pounds from their weight for women and even lie about their location to manipulate people to think they had lived nearer. Plus, lying about their availability and relationship status which sometimes for worst case scenarios they might be someone's husband or wife which then will open the chances to cheat on their marriage life next note that online dating is a place where you could meet new people and obtain access to some of the profiles and informations which can lead to crimes like scamming and online phishing. Based on the same survey by Kaspersky Lab survey also found that 50% of individuals who date online also setting up fake accounts to scam others. According to the findings, males put themselves in more danger than women as they are the majority population who had used the online dating platforms. Male online daters reported being scammed by women who commonly use personal reasons and even threatening them with such circumstances by 20% more than women who only have 15%. Besides, guys also reported that they had receiving phishing emails pretending to be from an online dating service up to 15% more than women only 9%. Therefore, by the following reason, you need to stop attempting ways to find soulmates through online dating websites or apps but instead you can start meeting people in real life by joining any social clubs or even that you favor the books like myself i like music and therefore i went to gig concerts to express my hobby and get to widen my contacts with the people that share the same interests with me by doing so, first thing first, I might get to know him well and we can get more comfortable. So, a question here. Do we seem to like each other? Yes. Therefore, you know the drill. Either of us should start confessing when the time is right. From this, I am stressing the concept of friends before lover. Friend before lover as it is more meaningful and it will feel like fate. While comparing to online dating, firstly, I might not know his real traits and personality which can be fake in the first date. And of course, obviously we are not comfortable enough with each other, which can lead to certain circumstances whether we wanted another date or just call it off and then be like ghosted. However, if you're still not convinced by my argument, let me take you on a tour through what's happened when you come across such deception or threats online. To begin with, I'm sure you will discover a match and stay overnight conversing or maybe even FaceTiming with each other and you will probably keep in touch for the following several days. Then, you kind of wanted to set a date to meet in real life but sadly you get rejected right away and getting ghosted or maybe you discover that person you know does not look the same as your profile picture and so you ditch them by the next second you probably have another match and the cycle goes on again and again so What's the point of pursuing online dating if you're just wasting your time and energy? Unfortunately, you are unlikely to find a soulmate or even have a relationship online. Instead, you will be played heartbroken and squandering your time. It might cause hunger, changes, a lack of enthusiasm, weight loss and gain, overeating, headaches, stomach discomfort and an overall feeling of being miserable by the time you've experienced heartbreaks. So, stop using online dating to discover soulmates once again. I assure you to stop online dating right away. 
So in a nutshell, online dating gives less than benefits to the people and we must encounter a healthier way to find soulmates. So once again, stop utilizing online dating platform and apps to find your soulmates or establishing a relationship. But instead, we can try to expose ourselves in the social clubs or events where widened connections can be created and developed. In instance, I assure you to delete your account online dating now and move on by involving in activities that you favor the most. Stay faithful and believe in God's plan that everyone might find their soulmates eventually. So that's all from me. Thank you.